Uh, thank you very much for joining us this evening. We've had a couple of mask issues to fix at the last minute, including the use of a drill, which we in the end didn't have to use. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is great to see you. I would just like to point out before we before we run the credits, <coughs> um, I uh, have a bit of a cough and a cold and uh, what have you, so I'm not at the best this evening. <laughs> So if I do have a cough and a splutter down through the microphone, please, f I forwardly give you my apologies. Obviously, because it's not <laughs> not the greatest to listen to while you're sat at home. Um, so, But the show must go on. So no matter what we face, we're here and we're doing the live stream. And this is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> one of those weeks I hope we're always going to remember. So without further ado, we'll do some hellos in a minute. Let's roll some credits, I'll be back to you in a minute. Someone's saying they've got no audio, so let's just do a check. Right, so, uh, are we back online now? Okay, let's just do an audio check, everyone, because um, before we do some hellos, um, somebody said that they, uh, who was it? Tony Welsh said couldn't hear any audio, so uh, we're just trying to make, do a little comms check uh, while we wait for that to come through on the feed, because there's a little delay, so we're going to do a... A quick comms check before she say some hellos and before we reveal, okay? Okay, right, so... Right, so, uh, are we back audio online good. now? Audio good, I can Okay, hear let's you. just do an audio, audio check, everyone, good. because um, before we do... Fantastic. All right, thank you very much indeed, guys. But if, if it does cause us a problem this evening, please do let us know and AD will do his best to resolve it for you. So, thank you very much. Right, okay, brilliant. Let's press on, my lovelies. So, welcome, <coughs> welcome, and hello and good evening to you. Uh, tonight, as I said in the intro, hopefully will be one of those very interesting nights. Uh, well, that, that's the plan, anyway. Um, so, let's just have a quick look and do some hellos and see who's around. Okay, Derek Austin, hi, how are you doing? <coughs> how are you doing? Ian Holmes, you're back, hi. Hazel, hello, Elizabeth Kay. Um, formerly Rod Line, uh, thank you very much, Dina Vante, uh, Kali Karishoka from New York City, hi, I don't think we've heard of you before, hello, welcome along, uh, Tanya Woodford, hello, um, oh, Swamp Yankee Guitars, hot damn, you made it, awesome, really nice to see you, Funny Fox, Good greetings Funny Fox, and if George, our youngest viewer, is watching, um, yes, hello to you George, Anyway, right, that's good. And who else have we got? Teresa Carpenter. Good evening, Teresa. I'm not sure if uh, Sue, Andrew, um, the girls are watching, but hi to you guys too. Um, Robert Mungin, welcome from Pittsburgh. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, Denise Weeks. Uh, hi, Denise. Diane. Wayne Tully. Hi. Uh, you're a new one, Wayne. Hello. Rhonda. Hello, Rhonda. Very nice to see you. Bailey G with a ton of hearts. Boom. Thank you, Bailey G. I'm looking on my laptop, obviously. Uh, Wendy, hi, how are you? This is great. Some new faces this week. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. So tonight, just before we reveal something to you, because obviously we want to get going, this is going to be quite a spontaneous week, and it'll all make sense when you see what's under the wraps. But... Um, I haven't, we haven't tested any of this, what you're going to see. So this is going to be completely as we would have a go. You're going to see it. So it's as raw and as fresh and as free and as liberating as it's ever going to be. But that's what tonight's all about. Um, just before then, we, we show you what this is. Uh, Seattle, Washington from Bailey G. Hi. Um, I would like to point out that I've, we've now made a decision to redraw for the prize giveaway. For those of you that know what I'm talking about, that's great. For those of you that don't, we ran a competition just before Christmas uh, where I was going to give one of my original paintings away 
because uh, we've reached 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Fabulous. However, you might like to know that the winner that we drew hasn't come forward. Despite trying to our best to contact them, they're nowhere. They've literally disappeared. So we're going to do the draw again. So hopefully at this weekend we may, well we will be announcing another winner. So if you haven't already done it, go back onto the channel, find the art giveaway video, get your entry in as quickly as possible. You just have to make a comment and you'll be in the draw. Please do it by the end of Play Friday. Anyway, that's that. So you're still in with the show, which is great. Okay, <coughs> sorry if I'm <coughs> coughing a little bit. <coughs> I do apologise. <coughs> Obviously I've got man flu and I should be in bed. Anyway, right, so let's move on. We're going to do some, lots of interactive chat as the evening goes on, especially to all our new friends. Thank you for watching. Now, we're going to introduce you to what's under the sheets. For five or six days now, we've been teasing. I put a little uh, snippets out on social media. I would like just to say a massive thank you to AD because it was his concept and his design and build skills which has brought this into life. So what I'd like to do now is give you three minutes of what this is, how it was made. We've put together a little time-lapse video for you and we're going to play that right now. Rotator 9000, which my learned colleague Aggie has built with blood, sweat, 
and the occasional swear word. Here we go. The finger. Three, two, one, go. It's alive! Right, so ladies and gentlemen, unbelievably, this is it. This is the machine. I don't, we haven't really given it a name, but uh, it's a gigantic drum uh, made by my wonderful colleague. And yes, indeed, there's a comment that Derek left. We have indeed wrapped some canvas around it. So this is what I'm going to be painting this evening. So let's first of all see if it works. <laughs> we have tested it. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. Right, because that would have been really bad if it hadn't have worked. So, if AD can go to chess cam for us for a moment. Right, so there we go. Hopefully you're seeing this. This is the drum. And what we've got. So we've got a, a radius of one metre, which means our, sorry, a <laughs> diameter of um, one metre, which means that our circumference is 3.14 metres. Um, net weight around about 45 kilos, uh, probably even more, and it's actually mounted onto this um, what is what was a hog roasting machine. Uh, it's never been used for roasting hogs, I might point out. Um, but we bought it to do a sculpture with about five years ago, which is on permanent display in Gloucester, uh, near where we are. And this is it. So this is our rotation, say a rotating device. And tonight we're going to be on this piece of canvas as you can see it rolling around and I have no literally no idea what we're gonna do <laughs> literally no idea what we're gonna do but what I want to do is have some fun now in a we've done twice already we've done that excuse me <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh dear sorry headphone users <coughs> it's not professional is it so we've done um, horizontal rotating, <coughs> centrifugal platforms, and then tonight we're going to go with uh, well, whatever this form of rotating is, but anyway, there you go, you can see it, all up and running, all up and running, right, uh, canvas on a spit from Wendy, yes, roller art, yeah, yeah, actually, Juan, um, uh, about four people in there, a mangle, you could fit a person in that, you certainly could. Are you going to keep that running till the painting dry? Is it says formerly Rod Line? Yes, Rod, we are. Um, in fact, it'll be on a timer so that when we leave the building, which will probably be around about 9, 9.30 this evening, it'll then rotate for another two hours afterwards. And I've kind of calculated that two hours should be enough. So I've actually popped it onto a 24-hour timer, but it's just set then to shut off at about 10.30, sorry, about 10 or 11 p.m. tonight. Okay, so we're on the overhead cam at the moment. Hello, overhead cam. Very nice to see you. So I'm going to just keep this running for now. Now, the other thing you'll see, hello in the corner, is we've got a piece of canvas underneath. So I believe our lovely friend Kevin Dennington. Good, good, good evening, Kevin. Um, been loving your photos on Instagram, by the way. Uh, we've put a piece of canvas at the bottom to catch all the paint that comes off. So we'll see what happens to that as well. But, are we still on this one, buddy? Come on. So, basically, we don't know. We, to the best of our knowledge, this hasn't been done before. Correct us if we're wrong, but I've never seen anything like this. So, let's just, just do a bit of, have a bit of fun tonight. All right? So, anyway, right. If we have a little whiz on to chess cam, buddy, let's get some paint mixed. So, for those of you who haven't seen all this before, then firstly can I say welcome along to the live stream if this is your first time we'll look after you don't you worry we're going to start mixing some paint that's the very first thing that we're going to be doing and I use an enamel paint which is very toxic which is why I wear this special breathing mask and operate in a strictly controlled environment uh, with a giant extractor in the corner sucking out all the air and all the fumes okay good right so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some, uh, we're going to get some paint on here. And I literally now am going to make this up as I go along. There is no other way of describing it. Normally, as you can appreciate, I will plan. I normally plan what I'm going to do during the week. And then we gather together any special tools, that kind of thing, uh, and go from there. But I've always got a plan about which paints I'm using and pretty much what I'm going to do. However, this week is the unusual week. 
because I'm literally going to make this up on the spot. So it's a challenge on a number of levels. <laughs> okay, so we, we are going to have a go tonight. Um, I don't really quite know how this is going to pan out, but I hope you're all fed and watered and are sat down with a drink of something and you've got no distractions because I think we're going to start and have a, well, hopefully have a little bit of fun now. Okay. Right, so, so far so good. It's rotated. This is the longest it's rotated for, I can assure you. Uh, Ian Holmes, got to go now, but at least I got to see the grand reveal. Thank you, Ian. Uh, okay, as far as it's me, Clinton, I made it. Of course, yes, yeah. Hi, Clinton, how are you doing? Um, uh, Patsy, yes, it is a beautiful blue. And uh, Joe C. Rays, I'd like to try that myself. No problem. Um, right, so, is uh, Zane here? I'm not sure if Zane is here. If you're here, Zane, hello, good evening. Right, and he's in New Zealand, uh, everybody. So yes, he's. Uh, it's, it's already Thursday where he is. Okay, which one are we on then, buddy? Which can... corner? Right, hi, corner cam. So uh, let's have a little go here. Let's just do something. I'm, I'm just quite eager to get some paint on here. So I'm going to ask you, ladies and gents, do we go? Do we go for lines or do we go for squiggles? All right, get your vote in now. I'll give you a couple of seconds to uh, to tell me what you think. Um, Hello, Sandra Thompson from Florida. Good evening to you. Um, Nikki J, I need to bring my son to watch. He loved it last time. Yes, get everybody involved. Um, I've seen something like that for painting resin on tumbler cups, but nothing that size and nothing on canvas. That's very interesting. Formerly Rod Line. Um, okay, hi, Penny Kent. Are the fires affecting you guys or your families? Um, fires what fires are those uh, penny australian ones we're not in australia my lovely so um not affecting us thankfully um okay right so lines we've got squiggles oh this is good fun funny fox uh, yes <laughs> okay what else have we got zane taylor squiggles and squiggles i think we're going to go with squiggles aren't we that, that's where we look like we're at. Right, Let, let's, have a, let's have a look. So which camera are we on, buddy? Okay, corner camera. Right, you ready for the squirrels? Let's go to this end, all right? Okay, right, let's just go. All oh, right, I'm there now. Right, let's go. I feel like I'm icing donuts. What on earth? Right. So we're learning, we're learning, having never done this before. I've no idea what's going to happen. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Seems to be spinning awfully quick. It isn't, and I can adjust the speed, of course, on my little control box. But let's just get some paint on for now. Because otherwise you'll be sat there thinking, goodness me, Ed, when are you going to get started? Right, okay, no idea what's going to happen next, but I'll tell you what, let's get some thinners on, because that's a bit thick. It's straight out of the can. Ooh, that's interesting down below. No idea what's going on there. Right, let's get some thinners on. Okay, jolly good. First colour is on and it's working. Woohoo! My goodness me. Well done, AD. I think we should give AD a big round of applause and he should give himself a round of applause. What do you think? Okay, so um, ladies and gents, so we've done some squiggles, that's fine. Let's get that developing now. Shall we, uh, right, let's, shall we do, let's do some red. Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we do it? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday is set tomorrow, so just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! No, God! No, God, please, no! Right, okay. So, we'll go with the shorter squiggle now, because I've got a gun. You should see what's happening over there. I'm really liking the squiggles now. Now, my, my, my red paint is going off slightly. I don't mean, like, off the plate. I mean, just, it's starting to, th to thicken up. So, let's get some on this end. I, what I don't want to do... Oh, there's a big glob there. I don't want to put red on with the blue. 
not at this stage anyway, because that's going to give me a rather insipid looking purple. And there'll be a time and a place for purple, and it isn't yet. Okay, right, that's got some red on the one end. Happy days. Let's get the lid back on that bad boy. Getting back on the shelf. Not going to last a lot longer, I need to get some red ordered. Okay, that's good. <laughs> red will look very nice, thank you Sharon Davis. And then the blue. <laughs> okay. Finley just said you're amazing, Ed. Oh, bless him, he'll soon change his mind. Right, okay. That's good. So, uh, I'm going to introduce a little bit of white now down here. So let's get the whole sort of uh, nautical thing going. Let's get some blue and white. I know this white, uh, <coughs> excuse me, is quite thick. So I'm definitely going to need to something out. Right. So now I've got that on. The red's doing not a lot. So I'm going to give that a spray as well. Um, I think it's about time we cracked a tool or two out. So let's have a look. So. All right, so we're just going to switch the music on. So in the little interim periods where I'm not saying very much, I know. I know it's a stat. Me, me not saying a lot. When does that ever happen? Um, OK, right. So I'm thinking, bear in mind, I'm thinking straight out of the box here, my lovelies. Let's go for some sponge. A nice bit of sponge. Right. And I think I want to get another colour on. What am I going to go with? What am I going to come on, Ed? Think, think, think. Hmm. Should we have a drop of orange in there? I don't want to go too multicoloured because I'm quite kind of anxious that whilst this is a bit of a play and we're having a bit of an experiment, I still want it to kind of work. Ooh, that's nice. That's good in the orange. Hope you're getting that. So I don't know what you'd call this technique, a bit of a swizzle. A bit of a swizzle. Right, who's up for some gold? I think we'll have to do some gold. Oh, that looks quite good, just looking at that on my laptop. Okay, so uh, this is good. Let me get the gold open. I'm glad you're all enjoying this, by the way. I mean, it's, it's, it's really, really good. It's some really good comments coming through and feedback so I'm just going to get a line I'm just going to get a band of gold never watched the TV program uh, I've got AD singing in my ears now <laughs> trust me it's a good job you guys can't hear it <laughs> oh no if we go chest cam for a second no can you can we see what's happening on the canvas underneath now that is interesting. Ooh, can we get it? Ooh. Mm, hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Right. Okay, so uh, you can probably see you now here on the chest cam. I mean, we're just doing some, we're just getting this sort of spread out a bit. We want to see what happens. I think. <laughs> it's weird I'm kind of using this more or less as a like okay well let's just see what happens you know because sometimes you just gotta go with it man you know let's let's have a look so we're just doing we've got some bands just at the moment but I think the time oh is that slowing down no that was just me there's a time for some craziness which obviously we'll do in a little while so thanks everybody for sticking with me so Wendy wants more paint uh. <laughs> I wonder what Paula could say about that. Yeah, it would be interesting, wouldn't it? I often think, you know, when we, um, if you've ever sort of had that conversation with your friends and your family about who would you invite to your dinner party if you could invite five people from history, you know, and uh, you get the usual suspects like um, Einstein and, uh, you know, Socrates and all these kind of people. But I think, um, oh, I think Paula could be quite interesting. We just don't let him anywhere near the drinks cabinet. Or, the, or give him the car, the keys to your car. You can go and look at that if you uh, don't know what happened to him. Okay, right. So that's that's reasonably interesting. So I'm losing uh, losing an appetite to use the sponge now. So let's turn our attention to the blue, shall we? And I'd like to get something done with the blue. Now uh, I think this might be. Excuse me, I have to cough a little bit. <coughs> <coughs> Um, right now, where's my where's my well, what I wanted to put in? 
Let's go with, actually no, let's go with a different blue, there we go. Let's get some colour on it now. So we should be on all four cameras now, which <laughs> should be, I hope, quite the spectacle. Anyway, let's get some more blue on here uh, while we've got all four cameras on. Oh, let's just, just come on and just get it on. My goodness me, that's thick. There we go, look, let's not hesitate. That's not... <sighs> There we go. Yes, Penny. Let's get more paint on, eh? Right. <laughs> Pollock was very nuts, yeah. Okay, right. Next, I need to choose the next tool. Let's have a look at that. Right, I'm going to come this side now and see if I can scrape it up and see what happens because we haven't tried this side yet. So I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, right. Let's, let's try that where, where these are. That's interesting. Of course, I can't really see it now until I'm around the other side. Ooh. That's quite pretty. That's a nice blue, that. Okay, so I just want to spread this out a little bit because we're basically going to be forming some, some quite complex shapes, I would imagine, before too long. And then we, we had a meeting this morning um, with uh, two, two guys, Ewan and Amy, and I don't know if they're watching tonight, but uh, we were joking about using the, pen, the overhead pendulum. So you can imagine... Uh, what that potentially might look like. <laughs> Let's see, shall we? I mean, we got time. Right, so here I'm just going down in a rough kind of spiral. I'm now picking up some of the white that we put on. So that's, excuse me, producing some interesting shapes. And now I'm just picking up the blue. So uh, we're trying to get all these bands spread out. I just want to get really, you know, a, a kind of base coat on for now. Let's get the canvas actually covered, you know. Um, now I'm quite aware of where we're at at the, at the moment. Gosh, this is... This is quite mesmerising. <laughs> um, but where we're at actually at the moment, we're going cold in, uh, warm into cold colours. So that's all very well. I want to try and marry the two together, so I'm going to have to be quite carefully how I do that. And then everything is just bands at the moment, so uh, what I've got to try and figure out is how to bring all this together seamlessly. And I think I've got an idea. Right, okay, so that's what a scraper does, so we found that out, so that's not too bad. It looks like a giant oil drum at the moment, just a very nicely coloured one. <laughs> okay, let's give that a little spray, I might speed it up in a minute. Ooh. Right, so I think I'm just going to spread this out a little bit. Uh, right, so Trove, yes, thank you. Um, good question, what's the backpack for? Uh, so the backpack uh, houses the wireless HDMI transceiver. So the only way I can use my GoPro without any wires and as a live stream camera is to feed the signal into an HDMI sender. And that then uh, is, is a wireless one. And that sits in the backpack. And I also keep the equipment to do the uh, audio because as you can see I can move freely around the pod and I don't have any wires around me what oh, any wires whatsoever anywhere so the only way we can do that is uh, is for uh, for us the only sorry the only way we can go wireless um, is to use the tech that we that we managed to find which allows us to do that so that's why the backpack uh, no water or anything I'm afraid when I'm right there I don't take the mask off when I'm in here so I am uh, pretty much, uh, you know, sealed until I'm out of, outside of the tent. <laughs> okay, right, cool. So I'm thinking now, I might just stop this for a minute. So let's see if it'll stop okay. Oh, gosh, that was quite quick, wasn't it? Right, okay, so that's stopped. So I'm going to give this just a chance now that if I've got sort of heavy pools or um, <clears throat> any volume of paint that's stuck anywhere, uh, gravity is obviously going to take it round to a central point. Now, I'm not quite sure where the canvas starts and finishes. Uh, that's not bad actually, that's actually down at the bottom. So by sheer luck I've pretty much stopped the canvas where where the join is. So it's going to then send it all to the edges, meaning that it's not going to pull on the bit that you see the most. Okay, right, so while we have a look at the bottom canvas, yeah the bottom canvas is looking quite interesting isn't it? So I'm going to choose my next few colours, and I, I think I'm oh, tempted. 
what am I tempted to do? Uh, I mean, we, we are going to look like a rainbow by the time we've finished. Um, but that's okay. I, I'm tempted to go in with a little bit of yellow, you know. Thinking, I think so. So let me queue up the yellow, because now I've got to decide really where we're going. We've done some rotating, we've got some bands. Okay, nothing, nothing earth-shattering there, is there? Um, so, I think... Let me just put this on and just let it run, and I want to see what happens when it's stationary. So let's try that. We'll try that next to the gold. If I if I put this next to the blue, I'm going to get a band of green where it matches. And at the moment, I don't want to put green on it. Uh, I mean, I might do, but who knows. So let's get some volume of paint on here. I have to be quite careful how I'm tipping this out. Uh, because again, this is one of, I'm, I'm at the end of the tin, and there are always the odd lump that you find at the end of the tin. But that's fine, it's okay. Right, let's just get that done. Right, just going to take a moment to fill up my thinners then, uh, everybody. Let's have a look at some... <clears throat> let's have a look at some. So, Stefan Oliver, this style is called continuism. <laughs> Excellent, I like that. Uh, can you reverse the direction of the spin, says Zane. Um, yeah, I can stand this side. <laughs> then it's going this way. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now I can just turn it round. <laughs> Hope that answers your question, Zane. Because it's exactly the same both ways, really, isn't it? When you think about it. Uh, you just swap the axis around and it would be the other way around. But you know, the, the net result will be the same. Uh, okay, so Diane Firth. Yeah, lime green. I'm, I'm thinking lime green. Lime green will be nice. That's probably going to be my bridge between the two. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Michelle, hiya from Portsmouth. Hiya, Michelle. Hiya, Paul Rhodes. Nice to hear from you. Right, okay. We're giving the... Uh, which camera are we on, buddy? Cool. So we've got a refill of thinners. Uh, I'm going to thin this down a little bit. Let's get that running. Okay, so that's now running down the canvas, which is nice. That should, this should be pretty cool. I'm going to give the top line here, because we're roughly... Roughly in the center of the painting so i'm just going to give a line across here of thinners and i'm going to let this run down before we start rotating again now that's a real a real lot of thinners there which is quite interesting right just having a look now at the overhead because i can see that on the time delay uh okay so the yellow is spreading quite nicely okay Interesting, right, so I've got this, this end to look at. Yeah. Super, super, we're doing good, we're doing good. Okay, right then, so let's break out the lime green. Yeah, I know I'm tempted to go for the pink as well. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, <coughs> where did my lime go? Where did the lime go? Oh, the lime green, there we are. There we go, there's my lime green, check that bad boy out, nice. Okay, right, so, let's get some of this on. So, what have I just done different? I've just stuck a load of thinners on, are we on chest cam still, buddy? Okay, so, so we've got a line of thinners we've put across the top now, so that's gently going to spread itself out, and it's going to start dropping down and falling, so that's going to do something as well. I'm going to repeat that process as well in a short while. So at the moment now, we've got a, a, a plethora of yellow on the very top edge here, a bit like the spot of Jupiter. Um, so what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do the exact same thing, and I'm going to do it with a lime. Uh, this is unthinned paint, and it's, uh, can we see, can we see that? All right, that's really going some now. There we go. There it goes. That's it. That's what we wanted. Now, I've already given this a spray, so we're going to get some really nice... Oh, look at that go now. <laughs> so, have we got overhead and chest cam, buddy? So, on the chest cam, uh, everybody, we should be able to see this moving down the back. Move down the barrel. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... Okay, so that's moving down there now. Yeah, I like that. So we're using gravity for different effects this time. Whereas we were in spin weeks, we've been using uh, centrifugal force. Now we're actually using gravity for uh, for different purposes. Okay, 
So that's pretty, hey, that's pretty good. Um, so we, we, we're basically at a rainbow again now. Who doesn't like rainbows? Hey, that's <laughs> um, pretty what good. What I want to do now is introduce something at the end here. So I think we're going to go with the silver. And then um, <clears throat> once we've got all the code, pretty much, you know, some of the colours on there, all the uh, primaries, all the really nice, happy, happy things on there. Um, if I can just find the jabber that opens my paint. I had a problem earlier on, actually, and uh, I... I literally couldn't find the tool that opens the tins of paint <laughs> because it's so covered in paint these days trying to find it on a desk covered in paint is nigh on impossible so now just while we have a moment and i try to look slightly less than unprofessional ah there we go i've now found the tool and we're back in the room yay now what's going to be very interesting while i've got these volumes of paint on let me explain something because while it might look a little pedestrian at the moment i can assure you it's anything but that now what's going to happen because now we're pretty much in the center of the painting i've got this uh this volume on overhead are we yeah well we got this so we've got a central volume of yellow and of lime green and now i've got one of silver all spreading out i mean the silver and blue are a lovely combo when they start to mix what's going to happen because i've got less paint on the other colors as it starts to spin um, i'm probably going to get I'm going to get too much of a distribution of this, which means it's going to fade out towards the edges, which will be lovely. So when I stop it next time, I'm thinking then, if I can stop it with the edge on the top, I'll do another spray and let it go back into itself, if that kind of makes any sense. And then the other thing will be then to pull out some of these accents with some darker colours. So I'm thinking like a, um, like a metallic like kind of strawberry raspberry colour, uh, maybe like a, a cherry maroon. Uh, might get the odd little drop of black in here and there we might put my favorite which is the piaggio green i'll show you that while we're on the overhead getting excited now you know all that kind of thing oh yeah hello so we might go for that as well so lots to do here guys so i think what i'm going to do is just give the give the uh, silver a little bit of a spray Oh, I can feel the tablets kicking in now. I feel quite happy. <laughs> oh dear, it's all good, isn't it? Right, let's let's bang this bad boy up and spin again. All right, what's the lucky number? Woo! That kicks in. Right, okay. Shall we speed it up? Right, two notches up. Right, let's see how that pans out. Okay, so, <laughs> what's the green and the yellow doing? Not an awful lot. Okay, that's fine. I'm not worried. I'm worried, I'm worried. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, it's fine. Okay. Right, so, let's give those a spray. Right, let's get the green done first, get it moving, that's what we want. Let's get some movement in this. Now, what will be really interesting will be to see what happens to it. I mean, this is going to get a proper soaking now. Yeah, will it move more one side than the other? I just don't know. I just don't know. Let's do the same with the silver. Give it a proper dousing. Look at that. We're not messing around tonight. In fact, I'm just going to go for it. Let's give the rest of it a bit of a, a waltzing over. And uh, I'm just going to do a check, make sure we're still in alignment on the rear rollers. Yeah, it's moved about three mil, three, four mil. So we're still looking okay. Yeah, we've still got, I'm uh, just talking to Eddie, probably 12 to 13, four, maybe 14 mil before it hits the hits the turn. Okay, brilliant. Right, so um, that's all right so far. Let's get some more uh, loops in because I quite like that loop there. But we definitely need something down here. Now, if I do it across the yellow and the gold, that could be quite interesting. So let's try that. Right, there we go. Let's just get it on. Come on, Ed. People have paid their money. They're giving up their evening for you. <laughs> hey? Except for those of you in the cheap seats. Right. I'm only joking. Right, so, should we get some hands on? What happens if I put my hands on it? <sighs> right. Here we go, here we go. Oh, this, this is so weird. Right. Hands. You need hands. Ooh, that is, that's quite, that's quite good. <laughs> I like that. 
Right, so what have I got on my fingers? Okay, let's, let's see if we can pop that somewhere else. Let's, uh, let's stick it here. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Hmm. Well, just get... So Jane says... Sorry, Jan Potter. Uh, just a thinning effect of drying time. Um, yes, it does. You'd, you'd think that because it thins the paint and, uh, that it would accelerate drying process, but because of the volume of thinners, the thinners itself has to then uh, dry out. So actually it does extend the drying time. So whereas this would be probably touch dry if it was flat in maybe three days, it probably extend it to four or five before I can properly touch it. Uh, so yeah, it does extend it actually a little bit. Um, I just, I, do you know what, just while it's rotating, it's crying out for some purple. So let's get a, quite a bold one on there. I, I think this is one we haven't used so far. Uh, there's my jibber jabber. Right, let's get that on. Okay. So again, this is not going to be thinned down, So, but there's so much thinners on it already. I'm probably, I'm quite looking forward to the fact that this might say fairly static. It's just a question of now where's the best place to put the purple. So let's just uh, let's just get this on. See where we're at. I, I wish you could all have a go at this. I really do. This, <laughs> do you know what? When you just don't care, it's just great. I mean, like I said at the start, this, this is a we're in an odd situation with this. Is that there's no planning. It's just for fun. It's, it's a bit of entertainment. We wanted to just do something different to liven things up a little bit, you know. So, so there's, it doesn't have to do or be anything. This it is just what it is, you know. Um, and you really had it to come and go. In fact, <laughs> we were having a conversation today with some friends and uh, thinking, do you know, I wonder if we could just do like a little, whether well, could offer out some kind of experience day where you could come and actually just have a go, just for fun. You know, because when you can take the pressures of having to make a living away, it's surprisingly cathartic, it really is, you know, when you can properly let go and have some fun. There's <sighs> just nothing like it, it's just um, unbelievable, you know. Right. Right, so we'll have a... Thanks, Dean of Andy. <laughs> Well, uh, we'll have a look at some comments in just a sec. Let's just get a little bit of... Oh, oh, I just had a thought. Oh, well, that's actually quite nice. Oh, yes, I have. What happens if I... Oh, shall I splash some on? I need to splash some paint on. I've just thought. That's what I need to be doing. Right. Okay, before we do that, then let's have a look at some comments. Okay, right, where are we at? Uh, scrape some... Uh, funny Fox need to go. Bye, Funny Fox. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Jane wants some bright orange. Um, Kevin, will you leave it rotating while you're drying it? Yes, probably to around about 10.30, 11 o'clock. Um, Nicky wants to play, no problem. Uh, funny Fox, keep rotating. Yes, will do. Uh, okay, so that's that. Spin it, yeah. <laughs> uh, run some pink, the full length of the drum, left to right, get a nice diagonal. Do you know what, Eric, we're actually thinking about doing that, to be honest with you. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take some of the volumes of paint that are currently on it um, and uh, manoeuvre this around, because it is moving quite a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about, about a diagonal here, because that would be really interesting. I mean, we've got lots of nice bands, which is, car which is cool, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, it's just a stripy painting. So well, let's move on and see what happens. So this is the time to find out. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, okay, let's get some... There we go. Let's get my fingers all over it. Happy days. Lovely, look at that. Right, okay, so I think I need to change my gloves now because I can feel it starting to go. Um, okay. Mustafa, what's the role? I'm not sure quite understand what you mean, but uh, I'm sure you'll let me know. Do you mean the drum? Yeah, I don't know if you saw that at the very start, but uh, we, we've basically built this just to have a go with uh, turning some paint in a different direction. Uh, <clears throat> scrap the interview, just play with the spin tables. <laughs> uh, great technique. Thanks, Matthew. That's great. 
splash it on, yeah, splash it on. Metallics would be nice, so I guess you'd say that, Barbs. Uh, right on, brother, from Eric Costa, yeah. I think, I think we just got to do it, you know. I think um, I think the pink's going to have to go on. Then we reintroduce the the purple, which is great. I wanted to do that. Let's get our old friend the pink out. Um, so the pink I'm going to going to use. Uh, no God! No God! Please no! No! <coughs> no! No! <laughs> well. Yes, I'm afraid it might have to be the pink. So do you know what? I think we'll, we'll I'm sl going to slow it a little bit and we'll get ourselves a nice diagonal. So let's go down on the speed here. Whew, right, okay. So let's just go right the way through it. Oh, that's come off. Right, I must be careful of that. Right, are we ready? I've got to see if I can catch one corner and go, go round. Here we go. Come on, Ed, don't mess it up now. There we go. Oh no! Ah! Disaster! Disaster! Stop! <sighs> right. Slight problem here, folks. You're seeing it live. It's come off the piece of tape. So let me sort that out. I've got some dry stuff on. I've got a dry piece on the corner. Ah! Shocking. Right got some tape let's see if I can take that down right you want chest cam buddy oh man come on come on don't fail me now don't fail me now my tablets have kicked in come on I'm on a roll now <sighs> oh, come on. Yeah, both Adi and myself were really not quite sure about this whether the tape would hold it I mean it's done on all the other parts but I guess the tape the, the paint is starting to I react to it now and to dissolve it like it dissolves everything. I've got some on my finger. I need to clean off my hands. Right, I'm going to rotate that for a second, guys, and I need to clean my hands off. I mustn't get this stuff on my skin. It's not good. Right, I'm just going to clean my hands, everybody. So we're just going to pop you on one of the cameras for a second. Okay. Okay. Okay, I've got my wipes. So we're all good, everyone. Don't worry. Well, I've got to get my uh, hands clean. I can't afford to have this on my fingers. It's nasty. Happy accident opportunity, <laughs> yes. Uh, definitely a happy accident. Uh, yeah. Oh no, says uh, Joe Reyes. Uh, Reyes. Derek, double speed gorilla tape would hold it. Double sided, yeah, I'm sure it would. Uh, <laughs> do, do like a Bob Ross and turn it into a tree. Yeah, they're birds now. <laughs> Oh, that's that's funny. Yeah, everyone should be doing like be, be like a Bob Ross here. So, what's uh, what's great, guys? Thank you so much. Everybody's new as well. We've we've got a, a hundred and eight viewers, which is the most we've ever had. So we're building it every week. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm so so grateful on behalf of us both. Uh, don't forget, if you're not already already subscribed, uh, hit that subscribe button. Give us a like if you're enjoying. Just have a bit of fun this evening. Hopefully it's a bit different than watching Netflix tonight. Um, could a canvas be rolled inside the 9000? Thank you, Jeffrey. Uh, we really appreciate that. Are we on corner cam, are we, buddy? Um, yeah, actually, Jeffrey, we, both Adi and I said that this week. You've read our minds. How cool would it be to do the same but on the inside and rotate it? So maybe, maybe we'll come up with something that does that. I just don't know how we'd film it. <laughs> Not for a live stream anyway, because it'd be inside a drum. But we definitely, yeah, we definitely would like to do that. That would be so cool. Um, sometimes art is dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Paul McCartney's face with the pink on the white and gold. Very good. Deny the accident. Yeah. Uh, nice idea, Jeffrey. Yeah, in indeed. Um, <laughs> AD says, give me a few days, I'll come up with something. Bless him, he's brilliant. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Over 100 watchers. I know it's great, isn't it? And look, to everybody who's joining us for the very first time, sorry, I just had to have a... I had to get the uh, the hands clean. Um, thanks to everybody who's joined us for the first time tonight. Uh, you may like to know, if it's something you want to tune into next week, that um, all being well, we'll have a real client here next week. And that real client is going to come in, 
which is something we've never done before and they're going to actually help and um, put some paint on their own painting that they're commissioning so we're not even sure technically if we can do it with microphones there's a lot of health and safety paperwork for them to go through <laughs> but that's the hope that we'll have another person here paying their money and doing it and agreeing to be broadcast live across the globe I, I think it's amazing what a better way is there a better way to spend your Wednesday or if it's Thursday if you're in New Zealand I'm not sure there is anyway right so back to the matter in hand what did we do with the pink there we put the pink on on a diagonal because Eric's idea was an excellent one so um, we need to blend that in a bit more because it hasn't really done a lot but that's fine because we had a little tape emergency so let's get that paint thinned out let's get it moving that's what we need to do here there we are especially that bit there let's get it moving I might have to get the hands on it yeah you're absolutely right Eric the, the solvent is dissolving the glue we thought uh, on the tape we thought we'd sorted that and we thought it'd be all right but we did have concerns and it's obviously borne out now but hey we learn don't we that's the whole point we've got to keep learning and pushing forward right okay so color wise reasonably happy so far pink is a little bit yeah i'm not sure if that's working but i'm not going to beat myself up about it because we are learning this evening and we're having a little bit of fun right right so where's the bit that got yeah that's not looking too bad there now actually i think we might need to whack this up a bit there we go let's crank the speed up a little bit and see what happens now okay so i think the one major sort of primary that we're missing is orange i don't have a huge amount of orange i can see if i can coax some out of the bottom of the tin here let's get a little bit of orange on i just want to warm it up just a little bit this is a nice one there's not a lot in it I think what I'm going to do while we're on chest cam, let's get some thinners inside it. Can we see that okay? All right, give it a swirl around and then we're going to get a tongue depressor. These are very good. And we're going to whiz that bad boy around a little bit. <coughs> Sharon Davis, is this all house paint? No, none of it's house paint. This is enamel paint. It's very toxic, hence why I wear the mask. And it's made to our own formula. So it's a unique product. It's taken quite a number of years to develop, but you get to do this with it, and um, yeah, yeah, it's it's mind blowing. Oh, same. What am I talking about? Orange. I got orange on there, but I want another band, of course. Right. Let's get a band here in the in the blue. There we go. So I'm trying to imagine what this is gonna, <laughs> what this is going to look like, and uh, and I can't at the moment. Isn't that weird? I just can't, literally I can't imagine what that'll be like when it's rolled out. Okay, <clears throat> not going to worry too much about that. Okay, good. Right, so what I'm just thinking out, I didn't actually, did I get my purple on? Can we see any purple on? Yes, I did get my purple on. There we go. Right, okay, so I'm going to get some cream on here as well because we need to get to, we need to get some of these colours just broken up a little bit. Now the, the, the red is starting to uh, go off just a little bit. Thanks, Dagmar. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much indeed. We'll drop another one in here. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to drop some black on, which is always the... Yeah, by popular demand. Black is always the uh, gulp moment, because we're never quite well, entirely sure how that's going to work out. So that's done. So I think probably I might end up sticking some black over on the red because it's just probably going to cry out for that. So let's get the black open and get it ready. <coughs> right, and then I'll think about any other techniques we can have a little go at or any other colours we want to put on. Right, okay, bear with me. I could be tempted to sponge some of the uh, <coughs> some of the globs of pink where it's you know just here where it. It looks a bit too much like a, you know, like a runny egg, so um, I think I might have to do something with that. Just wondering actually if in a little cup might be better. Um, yeah, let's try uh, 
Let's try a shot glass. So we're now up to 112 watchers. Woohoo! My goodness me. Thank you everybody for tuning in. This is fantastic. That's the most we've ever had. And I'm so, so grateful that you've decided to tune in and watch us two crazy people and what we're doing. Oh, genuinely, I'm made up. I shan't sleep tonight because of that. So thank you, everybody. I'm genuinely, massively grateful. Remember, give us a thumbs up if you haven't done already, if you're enjoying this. That will be particularly awesome. Right. There's our black, ladies and gents. There we go. Right, so, let's turn my attention. Oh, I tell you what, let's get the special sauce out and I'll dab that on my hands. Special sauce. Right, can we get the chest cam on, buddy? Yay! Right, so this is a combination of a lot of different chemicals, which I won't reveal, but there's a very, very special one in here, which is a dispersant, um, which creates a kind of selling effect. I don't want to get down this whole selling route because it's been done a billion times on YouTube with acrylic paints but with enamel paints it has completely different properties and it does some amazing things so we're just gonna I just want to get this kind of thinned out a little bit because it's too globby in places so this is where I need to slow it down just a little bit and you might like to know um, that in the last couple of weeks we've done a couple of really really beautiful paintings that have turned out so well um, and I'm hoping to get those online and posted to the next three or four days. Um, did a nice Chris, no, an up and down lines one last week. The week before we did a giant circle one. And that came out amazingly well. And our visitors today literally stood in front of it and was like, whoa, <laughs> that's insane. So we're getting some really, really nice finishes and some, some really good work coming out of these live streams, which is, which is fantastic, really. Really, really happy with that. So um, it's good, it's, it's forcing, forcing us to think and come up with new things and this is where innovation comes from. You have to keep pushing forward, but I need a reason sometimes to do it. I'm giving you guys some really, hopefully doing some interesting, insightful content about what goes on in the mind of a crazy person and paint when they're let loose uh, is doing really well. So, um, Kara says, do we think it'd be able to use the drum on its side, standing on its end? Not entirely sure, Kara. I mean, that's something you'd have to figure out from a physics perspective. I'm sure it's entirely possible, like everything is, but um, we, we might have to leave that one for a little while and try and work out whether that's going to work. But uh, an interesting suggestion, so thank you for that. Right, I like this bit here now, so I'm going to spray it where I've kind of dabbed the pink a little bit. All right, let's, I want to get this pink moving, so we're going to get uh, we're going to get this thing down a little bit, which is nice. Some of the other stuff looking pretty reasonable. So now I'm just thinking, what else do I need to do to this now? Um, let's have a think. Um, so uh, Nikki asking about the draw. Um, that's good actually. Could we do the live the draw for the giveaway live next week? Do you know what? I think that's a great idea. Let me just chat with my colleague. What do you think, buddy? Yeah? Well, I know that yeah yes, yeah, we could do. Okay, I'll tell you what then. Right, which uh, which camera are we on? Right, so there you go, there's the commitment. Next week, live at 7.30 we will draw the winner for the art giveaway. How's that? If you want to go back to the video, um, obviously I can't do it at the moment because my <laughs> hands are covered in pain, but back in the channel, when the video is finished, if you go back into the channel and look for art giveaway, oh, it's dead easy, it's just me pointing upwards at the word art giveaway. Watch the video, have a look at both paintings being done. All you've got to do Drop into the comments which painting you would prefer to win if your name gets drawn out. That's it. You're in the draw. Only one vote counts. Multiple ones won't count. But as long as you do that on that YouTube video, 
this time next week, we'll draw another winner. Okay, how's that? Right, so what have we got? So Hazel doesn't like the pink. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we want some more gold. Starting to look great from Jan. Thank you. Hi there, I'm a fan. How much do your paintings usually go for, Miss, Mr. Mystique? You might want to nip onto the website for that, which is suarez.co.uk. Um, you can find that pretty much anywhere. Um, but is there an average price? Not really, but two to four thousand gets you a, quite a big piece in GB pounds. Um, so, uh, Jan uh, Potter, what time the live feed next week? 7.30, what time is that? That's GMT, um, Greenwich Mean Time. So London time, 7.30 p.m. So depending on where you are in the world, if you're um, if you're west of that and you're in the US, then East Coast is five hours behind. Obviously, uh, West Coast is eight hours behind. Um, so depending on your Pacific Standard Time or Eastern Standard Time, and then if you're the other side, then you'll be later on in the evening, of course. Uh, always new, always nice from Stuart Van Hinson. Love what you're doing. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Lucy. Um, you watch, there'll be hundreds next week. <laughs> we hope so, Nikki. Um, Bill from Swamp Yankee. It looks a lot better on TV. Thanks. By the way, Bill, still can't send you a reply to your email. It's not coming through. Uh, everybody enter. Yes, you could win a painting. Absolutely. In fact, I've got to be honest, we're going to start giving a load more away, I think. Well, here and there anyway. <laughs> um, so it, when we hit 20,000 subscribers, we'll give another painting away. So, you know, just keep tuning into the channel. That's all you got to do, ladies and gents. That's literally it. Right, OK, let's uh, let's get one or two more colours in here and then we'll get things wrapped up because I don't <laughs> I don't want to... Um, keep you all too long from your what you're doing I mean I don't want to be too humdrum <laughs> yeah I'm here all week <laughs> shall I get me coat oh dear I love it I think we we, we, uh, we have to appease Hazel and uh, we have to we have to get a drop of gold in as well so I'm gonna get a drop of gold in up by the silver we'll keep the warmth going all the way throughout all I'm doing now really is just reacting to where I think paint needs to go, but at the end of the day, we're just having fun. You know, I'm not I'm not curing diseases and not, not sorting world peace. That'll be next week. Um, but for now, we're just having a little bit of fun, all right? Let's get the gold in. This is looking really nice up here. This reminds me of the planet Jupiter. I don't know why. Everything reminds me of Jupiter. What, what? Okay, here we are on the old cameras. I'll just turn to the... Just can we get a little sliver of gold because I think we just need a little bit of warmth up top here. It's like the Arctic tundra of paint. Let's get that on. And I'm going to give this a jolly good dousing. What's another tin of yellow gone? Right, another one bites the dust. Right, let's wrap this up. I'm going to come out with my old friend now. Here we go. Let's get some thinners on. Let's get him rotating. Can we get it up a speed? Of course we can. One two three right there we go that's quicker now right should we go to all four cameras then buddy for the big uh, for the big spray here we go here we go up top up top let's see what happens now there we go Woo! lashings of beautiful thinners get it on oh don't drop it out for goodness sake oh okay i think we'll stop there shall we <laughs> All right, the most fun you can have with your clothes on, I guarantee you. Right, okay, moving on before I get banned. Right, so what have we got? Do you know what, it might be interesting just to take a little look at what's happening down below. Hmm, not really sure, but it's interesting. That is quite interesting. Yes, well, we, sh we shall see what happens. Now, I suppose the crucial thing here is, is should I lower the rotational speed? This is the unknown stuff now. I'm think, trying to work the physics out in my head. Am I stopping it from moving by not giving it a chance? I think I might be, so I'm going to pull that down a bit. 
that's down two. I can see the paint rushing down and then it's rushing but it's not giving a chance to actually go where it needs to go because it's not falling onto the bottom. So actually being able to monitor what's going on on the bottom is going to help me with the speeds. Yeah, I can start to see it move now which is a lot better. Let's go. Yeah, don't light a cigarette here. Yeah. Right, let's get some of these edges sorted out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I tell you what, it does get very, very, very thick of thinners in here. This is why I've got a superb mask, it's airtight. My filters don't let any of the vapours through. Um, and I've got a really, really efficient and very heavy duty extraction system. And then uh, that's the whole point really. You know, I've got, I, I want to be here next week and the week after. <laughs> this is fun. So yeah, I might, I might consider doing this and offering out, you know, uh, at a reasonable rate to come and have a, you know, a, a painting experience here. So just to have some fun. I don't know if, would that be something anyone's interested in? I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think that's uh, something you might, uh, you know, enjoy doing. I, I don't know. Right. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, Pollock painting underneath. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the below is coming on now. That's, that's quite interesting. Uh, Jeepers Ed. Oh yeah, sorry, you've done that comment. Yeah. <laughs> Set fire to it. I feel that you and Johnny Lee Miller were separated at birth. <laughs> uh, excellent. Uh, Zane Taylor, it might be that you have to stop it for 10 minutes at the time. Allow movement, I know. That's exactly what I am thinking, to be honest with you. I'm going to pop it off, actually, because of that, Zane. I was thinking about that. So, uh, yeah, I'll just let it move and let it drip down. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and give it a chance. Give it a chance. Now, where did I stop it? Did I stop it reasonably well? Yeah, actually. Yes, that stopped really well. Oh, that's really coming off at the bottom now. I don't know if we can potentially... I don't know if I can get down far enough. Chest cam, no. Can we see any of that pouring off the bottom? Look at that. This is crazy, guys. Yeah, yeah, Zane, absolutely. It's a good call, man. Good call. It's exactly what I needed to do. There we go, look. <laughs> How interesting. And I can see it all starting to move. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it starting to move now, which is really interesting. So. Yeah, yeah, great, great call there, Zane. I, I genuinely, was, genuinely was thinking the same kind of thing. Let's just go around the corner. Oh, Felicity, will I drag another canvas across the drum? Yes, everything is very tempting, isn't it? And I love, this is another great thing about doing this, is that everyone's got some great ideas, <coughs> you know. Maybe we'll, um, maybe in two or three weeks' time, how about we bring the drum out again, and then um, we can try some of those ideas. Um, you know, this is really our start for 10, which is great. I think I'm going to start this back up again now. Um, so really after this, we, we, we can just make, uh, make progress really, guys. So, very interesting. <laughs> okay, right. So, let's have one last look at the comments. Mr. Mystique, how can abstract artists get things moving career-wise? Go and watch the channel. I've got tons of advice and videos. Uh, about you know things you can do, um, principles about reaching your target audience. Probably best you go and have a look at those, my friend, and see if that helps you. Uh, Felicity, thanks very much. Uh, thanks, Nicky J. Uh, one of your painting days is on the bucket list. Thanks, Ian. Uh, I've not painted since I was a child. Yeah, I think it's going to look really great horizontally when it's spread out. I hope so. I hope so. Oh, uh, Kelly! How can you say uh, I'm painting now while I watch except I'm terrible? Nobody is terrible. Nobody is terrible. You do what you want to do. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Alright? You're not terrible. Yeah, what's this? This is, <laughs> this is insane. Oh my goodness me. And what's going on underneath right okay so i think we're pretty much done there everybody i don't really want to add any more to it 
I know what we've got is lines, you know, which, which is great. I mean, we've yet to discover other things to do. We had a go at the horizontal, sorry, the diagonal, but it's ended up sort of being moulded around itself, which is fine. Um, but I think, you know, without going completely nuts, that's turned out pretty good. Actually, it's just one... Hey! One last thing I good. might want to do, just because Yay. I can. Just tempted just to put a few... Uh, really tempted just to scrape a few lines into it, like... There we go. That's that's just messed things up. Do it! Just do it! Yesterday is set tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! There we go. Oh, gosh, I nearly slipped over the light. Yeah, Carly, this is probably going to take, well, we're going to stop rotating in about two hours because the vast, hopefully the paint that's going to come off it will be dry by then, but in, in all honesty, I've, I've genuinely no idea. We're just trying to calculate this on what we know best, but we're in pretty much unknown territory here. So it all could just descend into a horrible globby lump. Most of the thinners has come off now, which is great. Uh, it's just a couple of bits I just want to spray. Um, but I think, yeah, I'm going to take this back down and stop it again. There we go, and just let it all kind of settle itself down. Right, okay, well it now looks like on the camera is a giant cotton reel. So, <laughs> which is uh, which is quite entertaining, but I'm really going to be interested to see what this looks like, you know, when it is um, when it is finished. It'd be really interesting to stand it on its end now and get it to all come the other way. Anyway, right, so let's have a last look at some of your wonderful comments. Thank you, Natalie from Mexico. Hi. Um... Uh, uh, found me the squirrel. No, that was uh, Shia of the Lone Buff. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Bob's M. Glad we could help. Swamp Yankee guitars. Watch it on your TV screen. You should see the colour is amazing. Thanks. Uh, thanks for that. I really appreciate it. Spray those scrapes with thinners. Yeah, it's tempting. I'm just going to let it run down now, Dean, and see where we're at. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, okay. What else have we got? Lots of other things there. Zane Taylor. Uh, oh yeah, Zane, yeah, good idea, yeah. Yeah, we can pre-do the canvas underneath, yeah, that's a very good idea. Uh, Wayne Tully, it's amazing, no real plan, just let the paint do its thing. I have to do some of this abstract stuff, just experiment with. It's something I haven't done since art college. Uh, just go for it, Wayne, just do it, doesn't matter. Just absolutely go for it. Send us some pictures next time on, on the feed and let's have a look. Um, Patty Nelson, you're generous, well, you're very generous for watching, thank you so much. <coughs> I didn't like those scrapes, says Dean. You want to fix it with thinners? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. When will we see it dry? <coughs> Next week, hopefully. All right, thank you, guys. Jupiter Sunrise, yeah, brilliant. Okay, right, so guys, thank you so much for watching. We are going to leave it there. I might have a little bit of finishing off where, you know, I do do a little bit of, uh, maybe I'll do some thinning. There are a few globs and drop globs and droplets here and there. Um, so I'll just monitor this now probably for the next five or ten minutes uh, just to make sure I'm not missing a trick anywhere and that uh, I haven't completely messed everything up. And a lot of the flow rates down uh, onto here, onto the canvas underneath, that's going to help me decide when the paint's really not flowing anymore. But at the moment everything seems to be moving pretty well. I might give it a final spray just to help it on its way to let some of these colours sort themselves out. But actually to a great less degree. <laughs> That's that's not bad at all. So uh, we've got to try these things, win, lose or draw, haven't we? OK, my fabulous friends, thank you so, so much uh, for tuning in this evening. I really do hope that you've enjoyed it. Your company has been amazing. We've reached a high viewing figure that we haven't reached before. So thank you, thank you. And if you are new this evening, 
Thank you so much indeed for tuning in and spending time with us this evening and I really do hope you genuinely enjoyed it. We're just having fun, that's the whole point. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because there's a load of stuff coming out. We have a new video every Friday which is kind of a very honest and um, authentic way of being able to convey what we've learned as, as people in this business over the last 10 years, especially out to creatives and artists who are getting going. So that's really going well. Then we do the live stream every single Wednesday, which is amazing. We're having so much fun. And it's, it's the couple of hours in the week that we live for, to be honest with you. It's fantastic. And we've got tons of stuff coming up. So just on behalf of AD and myself, I hope you've enjoyed the Suarez Rotator 9000 week. Massive thanks and respect to AD for having built this this week. And we hope you've had some fun with it. We'll bring you out again. Um, and we'll do something different next time. We've just got to learn as we go along. So. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for tuning in. It has been a real pleasure. And on behalf of Adi and myself, we very much look forward to seeing you next week at Suarez HQ. But for now, I bid you good evening. Thank you very much for watching.